and we'll do some of these a little bit uh, longer now but 462 over 210 what should we do with that well to be honest four might go into the top and bottom and eight might I don't know but like I, I know that two will go into the top and bottom because they're both even numbers see so I'm just gonna divide the top and bottom by two two into four goes twice two into six goes three times two into two goes once right so I get two thirty one on the top and on the bottom two into two goes once two into one goes zero times remainder of one see that two into ten goes five times I get two thirty one over one hundred and five hmm that's it that's an interesting one so this is a, it's a little bit tricky um, and you know it, the figuring these out is all about knowing your times tables because if you know your times tables then you know 7 14 21 28 35 um, 7 springs to mind because look one of the 7's uh, multiples is 21 it ends in a 1 another one ends in 35 so I'm actually going to see if 7 goes into the top and bottom here 7 into 23 goes how many times? 7 and 23 goes uh, twice. That's uh, 4, 2 sevens is. Uh, oh no, sorry, 3 times. Duh, silly me, 21. What am I thinking? 7 and 23 goes 3 times remainder 2. Look at that. Now 7 into 21 goes 3 times again. See? Now the bottom 7 into 10 goes once, remainder 3. See that? 35. 7 into 35 goes 5 times. Okay? So that's given me. 33 over 15. Okay, so this is really testing your times tables, these guys are. Now, can you think of anything? This breaks down one more time. Can you figure out what this breaks down to again? Can you think of a number that might go into the top and bottom? Two, maybe? How about three? Does three go into the top and bottom? Yep, yeah, three into three goes once, three into three goes once, three into 15 goes. Five times, so eleven fifths. Now, can we go any further than that? No, that's it, right? So that's the answer, eleven fifths. So yes, yeah, some of these are, especially this this step here. You know, you really need to know your times tables to try and figure this guy out. So here's another challenging one: two seventy three over three eighty five. So, any idea? Well, <clears throat> I guess 2 isn't going to work because they're odd numbers. 3 looks like it goes into here, but uh, I need to mess around with this guy. 385. Let's see, 3 into that, you see, goes once, and 3 into 8 goes um, twice, remainder 2, but 3 doesn't go into 25. Okay, so um, let's see. Any idea? Um, one sec. So 3 isn't going to work because 3 doesn't go into 25 evenly. But you know, and 4 won't go in because these are not evens. 5 doesn't go into both of them because this ends in a 3. 6, um, I don't think, but if you look at the 7s funny enough, if you write out your 7s, 42, then 49, then 56, then 63, then 70. Look at this, 63 and 35. Uh, here's a multiple of 7 that ends in 5, here's a multiple of 7 that ends in 3. So yeah, this is a little bit tricky now, but um, if you try 7 into into the top and bottom, I think that's going to work. Anyway, I'm going to guess that it will. So 7 into 27 uh, goes 3 times remainder what? Remainder, remainder 6. And then 7 into 63 goes 9 times, so that gives me 39. 7 into 38, 5 times, remainder 3. 7 into 35, uh, I think that's uh, 5 times, right? So 55. And now, does anything divide into the top and bottom? Well, just to make sure you see the top 39, that is 3 times what? 3 times 
String 3 goes once, string 9 goes 3 times, 3 times 13. And the bottom looks like 5 times what? 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 1 is 5 times 11, right? So basically, we don't have common factors on the top and bottom, so that's why this guy is the correct answer. Now press pause and see if you can figure this one out. 108 over 180. Okay, now I'll do it. I'm just going to do it by twos, just for fun. I mean, 2 into 10 goes 5 times, 2 into 8 goes 4 times, so I get 54 over 2 into 18 goes uh, 9 times, 2 into 0 goes 0 times, 54 over 90. And you might actually know your 9 times tables because 9 into 54 goes 9 into 54 6 times, 9 into 90, 10 times, so I get 6 over 10, and is that the final answer? Well, let's see, 2 I think will go into top and bottom, 2 into 6 goes 3 times, 2 into 10 goes 5 times, and I get 3 over 5, so this guy becomes 3 fifths. Okay.